Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the main role of the transverse reinforcement. That why we provide the transverse reinforcement, or we are sometimes also call as the literal reinforcement. The transverse reinforcement play an important role in the design of the column and beam. So there are three main purposes that why we provide the transverse reinforcement. The fourth purpose. And the first purpose of the providing the transverse reinforcement is for the confinement of the concrete. Confinement of concrete. Let's suppose if I choose this, let's suppose this is in the column. So uh, these are the, you, you can see these are the transverse reinforcement are used. And these are the longitudinal bars. There is a cross section of the column. So at this transfer and transverse reinforcement, these are the transverse reinforcement. So they confine the concrete. The con upon loading, the concrete does not move outside from this box. Why? Because this reinforcement is the transverse reinforcement. They confine the concrete from every direction. So the concrete is not allowed to move from this box. So this is the one main purpose of the transverse reinforcement that it provides confinement of the concrete. The second is the that it resists the shear stresses. Resist the shear stresses is the second reason that why we provide the transverse reinforcement. For example, again, if I consider the this column and the uh, and the elevated section, so and these are the let's suppose longitudinal bars. So we provide here the uh, transverse reinforcement in this direction. Right, so the crack usually occur uh, in the concrete uh, in the concrete column. So the crack occur in this direction and is a shear due to the shear stresses. So this confinement, this the transfer reinforcement, resist and stop the uh, uh, shear crack. So that's why we provide the uh, transfer reinforcement to resist the shear stresses. So these shear stresses are being resisted by the uh, transfer reinforcement. The third purpose for, the provi for providing the transfer reinforcement in the uh, uh, reinforced concrete structure is to provide the, this especially for the column, they provide the buckling, it pro provide the buckling restraint to the longitudinal bars. What does it mean? If I consider this is in a column again, is a column and these are the longitudinal bars in the column so the so these are the transfer reinforcement provided represented by the black marker so these are longitudinal bars these are longitudinal bars you can see here in the vertical direction so they usually buckle they will buckle in this direction due to the load so what happens are uh, they buckles and it can create the destruction of the column so what to the uh, the transfer reinforcement resists and they provide a restraint, buckling restraint. It resists the uh, longitudinal bars to not go outside so that there is no uh, collapse of the column. So this is the third and main purpose is the, I provide the buckling restraint to the longitudinal bars. These are the longitudinal bars and they buckle uh, due to the load, high load. So what happens? The column can collapse due to this buckling. So what happens? These transfer reinforcement try to capture, try to resist, and try to provide the buckling restraint to these longitudinal bars. These were the three main purposes for providing the transfer reinforcement. Usually, they mainly resist the lateral or the earthquake forces, which means the shear stresses. Hope you guys understand, and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.